Artwork from 40 Iona students is being displayed in the Brother Kenneth Chapman Gallery at Iona College until May 3rd. Located in the college's art center, the gallery features a variety of exhibits throughout the year. Each April, work from both drawing and painting and sculpture classes at Iona are displayed in the Visual Arts Student Exhibition. While the student's artwork is not for sale, the exhibit is generally treated the same way as any other exhibition at the gallery. Everything that we do for a professional artist we do for the students. So we give them invitational postcards, um, we send out in our postcards to our mailing list, um, we have an opening reception. Professor Thomas Ruggio teaches drawing and painting one and two as well as several art history classes. Ruggio has been the curator for the annual exhibition since he started teaching at Iona two years ago. Oh, I wanted to uh, showcase um, the talents and the hard work of our students who are studying uh, visual arts here at Iona. Uh, this was sort of, you know, the fruits of their labor. Before Ruggio came to Iona, the student art exhibit was called Accumulation, and any student could submit their work to be included in the gallery. Ruggio, along with Professor Ryan Seslow, who teaches sculpture at Iona, use certain criteria to pick out which pieces will be included in the gallery. You're looking for not just the work of the highest standard, but something that'll bring together um, a, a pleasing exhibition. Student artwork is also displayed year-round in various showcases in the Art Center. That said, junior Helena Keenan, who has six pieces of artwork featured in the exhibit, believes the gallery offers a different experience. I think it's like more interactive when it's just in the showcase, everyone just walks by every day and no one really pays attention to it, whereas like the gallery was like an event and they had like um, like a buffet and people were allowed to come and like like look at the pieces while um, our professor talked about them. The process of putting together a professional gallery for students isn't a short one. Ruggio says that he is already looking for standout pieces for next year's exhibit.